Hello friends, welcome back to the another video and in this video we are going to talk about CSS media queries. The media queries are the core heart of responsive layouts. So if you are struggling to build responsive websites, then you are at the right place. We will see how to write media queries and how to make the responsive layouts for mobile, desktop and tablets. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you everything about CSS media queries that you need to know in a very simplified way. And after that, you can apply them in your projects like CSS experts. So if this excites you, then watch the complete video. If you are new, then make sure you check out my HTML and CSS crash course. I will add the links in the description below and make sure you subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos like this one. So let's get started. So I have a basic HTML code, I have an H1 tag and I have a paragraph tag and I have written some basic CSS. Uh, I have given a background to the body and some font size to H1 and paragraph tag. So let's understand what this media query is all about. So the media query is a CSS rule and based on this rule you add some CSS and this rule has some criteria. You add some criteria to this rule. And when those criteria are fulfilled, your CSS properties will be applied to your web page. So uh, you can take an example of that. Uh, you have a web page and you want two different background colors, one on a mobile device and one on the desktop. So on the mobile device, you want to have a background of green and on the desktop, you want to have a background of uh, uh, yellow. So how you can do this? So using media queries, you can uh, specify the criteria of the width that when my device width is less than 600 pixel, usually the smaller devices like phones are having a device width of less than 600 pixel. So on the less than 600 pixel, you can add your background to be green. And if it goes beyond or more than 600 pixel, then you can add your background to be uh, yellow, which will be higher devices or the desktops. So let's see how we can add this. So to add this rule, we have an add the rate and then we add media. And after media, you need to specify the device type. So we have three types of device type. Either we use screen if you want the CSS to be applied on the screen. And then you have a print if you want the CSS to be applied when you print the document or the third one is the speech. So if you want that when your HTML page is read by some screen reader or text to speech, then you want to apply some CSS. Or if you want that my CSS should be applied to any of the device type. So all, in that case, you can add directly all. So let's see first the screen one. So I will add the device type as screen. And when I am on the screen, I want my color to be let's add a color of uh, tomato. So now you can see that on the screen the color is tomato. But if I now print this document, I will not see the tomato color on the document because this color is only applied to the screen. So let me show you if I click and I click on the print. You can see that when I print the document, it takes the default color, which is the black color. But if I want to change this color when I print my document, then I can do that as well. So what I'm going to do, I will write a new media query and then I'm going to have a print as device type. And what I want on the H1, I want my color to be teal. And let me add a paragraph color and the paragraph color should be orange and my body color should be black. So let me add a black color to the body. So I will give a background color and I'm going to give a hash 777. Okay, so now let me print this document. When I print this document, you will be seeing all the CSS that we applied on the media query of print. So if I print this document again, so now you can see that when I print the document again, the CSS which we applied, the content color is changed. So this is how you can apply CSS when you actually want to print the document. So I will remove this again and now I will just comment it out. And if you want that it should be applied to all of the screen type, then you just add it 
all and when you add it all then it is applied to the screen as well and it is applied to the print as well so if i print the document now you can see that it is applied to the print as well you can also add some more criteria to it uh, i will add one more criteria and to add more criteria you just need to write and and then you need to specify your criteria so let me add a criteria of width and i will have a width and i will just say that 500 pixel so in this criteria what will happen if my device screen width is less than 500 then the css should be applied so currently you can see that my device width is not less than 500 it is more than 500 and now if i reduce it and it goes below 500 the css would be applied so in this way you target your mobile devices uh, that when you're when you are actually having a small width which is uh, of the mobile device then you need to change some layout so in this way you can change the layout you can also add an orientation criteria so let me add an orientation criteria so what i'm going to do i will have a new media and apply to all and i will add an orientation here so my orientation would be landscape so i want to apply some css when my device goes into a landscape mode a landscape mode is usually when your device width is greater than your device height so let me add here when i have i will have an h1 and i will change the color to something else okay so now you can see that my device width is less than my screen width but if i reduce this then you can see that the criteria is changed now you have a teal color because now uh, i am in a landscape mode i can add more and condition and i can add one more criteria that i want my device width should be less than 500 pixel so if i add it then now you can see the device width is less than 500 pixel yes it is less than plus uh, I am in the landscape mode because my width is greater than my height and if I increase the height of the page then you will see that once the height of the page is increased my color changes to the uh, tomato color and that is because now this criteria is fulfilled which is that our device width is less than 500 pixel then we should have a tomato color but if it goes beyond then this cut area was, will be fulfilled it is an orientation plus it is less than 500 pixel so now let me add a background to the body so i will add a background color and i'm going to add a background color of violet to the body okay so you can see the background color violet to the body because our device width is less than 500 pixel but as soon as i move more than 500 pixel the background color will get the default one which is we applied on the body the gray one which is here all right and when we are in the orientation plus we are less than 500 pixel then we can add a body color and i'm going to give a background color of uh, let me give a background color of yellow okay so now if i want to see this background color yellow uh, i have to be in a landscape mode that means my width should be greater than uh, my height which is i can see that we are already my width is 558 and my height is 370 but i am not fulfilling the other criteria which is the max which should be uh, 500 pixel so let me get my max width to be 500 pixel and if i come inside the 500 pixel then i can see that i have i am now in the orientation plus 500 pixel if you want that this should not be an end and you want it to be an all criteria then you just need to add a comma and when you add a comma then either of the one is fulfilled uh, you will be able to see the css properties so if i go beyond 500 pixel you will still see because i am in the landscape mode now and if i increase this so now you can see that i am neither in the landscape mode and i am not in a device width of less than 500 pixels so i am not satisfying any of the conditions so now it is applying the default css so this way you can apply a different css properties to, uh, based on your device width and if you want to have a min width then i will change it to min width 
and it will be the opposite of the max width so when i change it to min width you will see again the yellow color and if i change it to max width you will not see the yellow color all right so so this was the general uh, idea of the media queries but actually when you uh, apply in your projects you actually have some typical breakpoints and you apply css based on those breakpoints and these breakpoints target specific screen device width like the extra small devices some small devices medium devices large devices and extra large devices so let me show you what are the typical breakpoints I will just comment this out. We don't want this anymore. I am having some HTML boilerplate. I'll just paste it here. So what I have done is I have some H1 tags and I have some uh, classes applied to it, which is extra small, small, medium, uh, large and extra large. And what we are going to do, we are going to apply the breakpoints and if we are in an extra small devices, then we want to see only the H1, which is the extra small device. If we are on a small device, then we want to see the text as small device. And similarly, if we are on a medium or a large or an extra, we want to see the text of medium, large and extra. So I have the CSS of uh, these breakpoints already. Let me paste the CSS code and then I will walk you through the CSS. All right, so now I have added the CSS as well. And now let me show you what actually the CSS I have added here. So initially I don't want to see any of the H1 tag, whether it's a small screen or any of the screen, I don't want to see anything. And what are these breakpoints? The first breakpoint we target are the extra small devices, which are the mobile phones. And for the mobile phones, what media query we write is we want to have the maximum width of 600 pixel. That means target all those devices which are less than 600 pixels. So all the devices which are less than 600 pixels are the extra small devices. So on the extra small devices, I have just done the display block. So I want to see the element and I have added a color to that element. Rest all other H1 elements are uh, display none. So I don't want to see. So similarly, when I go to the small devices, uh, I will see the text as small devices and the small devices are the tablets and the large phones whose width is greater than 600 pixel. Then comes the medium devices, which are the landscape modes of our tablets and whose widths are greater than 768 pixels. Then we come the large devices, which are our desktops and laptops. And then we go to the extra large devices, which are the bigger screens, uh, bigger monitors and bigger laptops. So let's see here. All right. So now you can see that currently we are in the extra small devices because we are screen width is less than 600 pixel. So if I increase this now and I go beyond 600 pixel, I will enter into small devices. And if I go beyond 768, then I'm going to enter the medium devices. That is the medium devices. And if I go more then I am going to enter to the large devices and then the extra large. So in this way you can target specific width and you can change or apply the CSS properties using media queries. So that is why the media queries are very powerful uh, when uh, it comes to the responsive web design or you want to change the layout. So you can think that uh, currently I am changing, I, I am showing and hiding the text, but actually you can do it on your uh, blocks. You can show some blocks on the screen. You don't want to show the blocks on the screen. You can hide them based on your screen width. Let me show you an example with a website where we actually have a header, we have a navigation bar, we have a left hand side, we have a right hand side content and then we have a footer. So let me show you an example. I already have an example. Let me show that example. All right. So in this example, you can see that we have a header, then we have a navigation bar, we have a left side section and then we have a right side section and we have a footer. So we want to have a responsive layout. So when it goes to the mobile devices, we want that the left hand side should come on the top and then the right hand side should go to the bottom. So if I now reduce my screen size, 
uh, you can see that the left side is getting squeezed and the right hand side is still uh, the same but i i don't want because when i go to the small sizes i don't want this layout should be displayed so we can add a media query and we can change this uh, layout so let me add a media query here so what i have done is i have targeting a maximum width of 700 pixel when my screen size is less than 700 pixel i want this left hand side should be uh, a complete 100% so now if i save it now the menus are also taking the 100% width the heading i mean the left hand side is also the 100% width and then below is the main section and then there is a footer so this way using the media queries you can change the layout of your uh, website and you can make it responsive so now if i go to the bigger screen or i go to the smaller screen you can see that even on the mobile devices let me show you on the mobile devices how this looks so now on the mobile devices if i go beyond so this is my mobile device and in the mobile device also the website looks very neat and clean and if i increase this width and if i increase it more let me increase this more so if i increase this more and we go beyond 700 two layouts uh, the left hand side and the right hand side next to each other but when we reduce the screen size it goes one below the each other so this was the core of uh, responsive layouts uh, if you want to design responsive layouts you should know media queries because without media queries you won't be able to change your layout based on the screen devices so that's all for the media queries i hope you like the video uh, a thumbs up is appreciated and you can connect with me on instagram or facebook uh, i have added the links in the description below please subscribe my channel if you want more videos thanks for watching